This video will show you how to set up and enable the counter bump screen. The first step is to head into counter back office, go into your site or my sites tab, click on add-ons, go to the counter bump screen and enable the bump screen. This will automatically add a printer to the printers section in counter which we will go through in a moment. The next step is to go into registers and make sure that you have a register for your counter bump screen and it is unassigned. This is extremely important as the counter bump screen operates on a register. Keep in mind also that by adding a register you may increase your subscription. Finally in back office we need to go to printers, head to the production printing section, make sure it's set to printer item specific and then press save, go to this shopping cart next to the counter bump screen and assign any products that we want to appear on the bump screen. For example, if your bump screen is next to the coffee machine, you will need to assign all of your coffees here to this bump screen. You can click the products that you'd like to assign to this particular bump screen or you can tick next to the category to assign the entire category to the bump screen and then press save to save those changes. Now on the device that you're going to use as the counter bump screen, you'd log on in, tap on the pause button, and then select your bump register. Once we've signed in, we need to go to menu, add-ons, kitchen bump screen. And as you can see, we have a couple of orders here from, uh, from previous trade, and this is how your orders will display on your counter bump screen. As these are made, you can tap the bump button, and it will automatically remove those orders from the list. If you need to get access to them, you can drag back into the past to see what's already been completed.